excited. Okay, we've got the clearance. So hello and welcome to this live stream, whether you are joining live with me now, thanks for joining me. I'm really glad to have you here. Or if you're catching me on the replay, today I'm going to talk about how do you multi-stream to multiple different social media platforms at the same time? Or how do you live stream to multiple social media sites at the same time? It probably sounds more complicated than what it actually is now, but I'm going to walk you through two ways to do it. And it's so easy. I promise you it is so easy now, particularly compared to what it probably was many years ago. At this point in time, it is the easiest thing to do. So I love multi-streaming. Um, it's one of the fastest ways to create lots of content really efficiently. And I'm going to take you through how to, two ways that I do it, um, an easy way and a not so easy way so that you can start applying it for yourself. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help coaches, consultants and creative pros build their business using video with ease. And I live stream a lot about live streaming. Make sure that you check out the links in the description because I'll go back and put all the timestamps there as well as references to any of the resources that I mentioned in the video and it's where all the fun happens link in the description it's you know you know the jam you know the jam so let's get right into it what is multi streaming it's also known as sim simulcasting simulcasting let's break it down and I've got a picture for you now so the basis of multi streaming is that you record or broadcast a video once and then it gets pushed out to multiple platforms, whether that's Facebook Live or Facebook, whether that's YouTube, yes, even Twitter, it's still a thing with Periscope, LinkedIn, there's lots of different platforms that you can broadcast too. And the beauty of streaming or multi-streaming is that it is so incredibly efficient. So instead of you creating like this example, four different videos for each platform, you do it once and it gets pushed out at the same time to all of these platforms. It's my favorite thing to do now. Um, I really love multi-streaming because I can get more um, reach across all the platforms and it's just faster, right? It's just a faster way of creating lots of content and it takes out a step in the process where, yes, you don't have to multi-stream to put videos on each of these platforms, but the alternative process is that you create a video and then you upload it to each of them. Like that's multiple steps for every platform. Whereas with multi-streaming with multi -streaming or simulcasting, you do it once, like um, we're doing right now, and it's being pushed out to Facebook, it's being pushed out to YouTube, it's being pushed out to Periscope slash Twitter. Um, those are the three ones that I do at the moment, and I could push it out to other platforms such as LinkedIn, um, Twitch if I was a gamer, or, you know, it's just so efficient. So, But it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's like, well, how do you do that? I remember when, you know, live streaming just started to come into play. People would multi-stream by having multiple devices. So they would have an iPad and they would have their phone, physically turn both of them on at the same time and live stream that way. And that was how they multi-streamed. And we don't have to do that anymore. Now we can use one device, um, your camera or your phone, and then you can push out to all of these platforms. I'm going to show you how I do it um, two ways. So the first way is I use um, StreamYard. So let's go over and have a look at StreamYard. So StreamYard, let's go back. Let's go, let's take this scene. So StreamYard um, is a live streaming software platform and they allow you not only to live stream, but they also allow you to live stream to multiple destinations at the same time. So this makes it an extremely attractive platform because you can connect once again um, your video and then once you push live it goes out to all the platforms at one time um, this is you know their site in terms of their pricing I'm not going to go into their pricing um, you can check out pricing on your on their site um, on their site yourselves because pricing changes I try not to talk too much about pricing because then it dates my video um, but the first one that's the easiest to use that I recommend if you're just getting started to live streaming and you don't want to be overwhelmed is StreamYard and I'm going to sh and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use. So, this is inside StreamYard. The StreamYard. Oh, get some water. Once you've logged into StreamYard, 
you would go to destinations on the left hand side here. Where's my little pencil? Here's a little pencil here. Okay, you would go to destinations and destinations then allows you to add all of the platforms that you want to stream to. I stream to, as I said, um, Facebook and YouTube. You would simply select add destination. So this big blue button here, um, you would select that. And this allows you to then connect your accounts, right? So whether it's your Facebook page or your LinkedIn page or Twitter or your YouTube channel, Twitch, they also allow you to do custom RTMP. I'm not going to cover that. I find that really confusing and unnecessary, particularly when you have a platform that already, um, most of the platforms are already here and I just don't want to cover RTMP. Um, so all you have to do is select the account that you want to stream to. So I'm going to select Facebook page. You need to allow the permissions and then you simply go through the prompts and then you choose the page. So I'm going to go demo space, connect that account. And then in my destinations, you'll see that it's been added here. So the additional one that I added here. So you just go along and add all of the accounts that you want to add and that's how you add them. Now, when you actually go live, so if I go broadcast and create broadcast, you'll see I get to choose which ones I want to go live to. So I select all of them. If I do want to go to all of them at the same time, I go demo, put a title in, create broadcast. And then this opens up the um, broadcast studio where I set up the live stream. So I can set, choose the camera and the microphone. Um, yep, that's fine. And then that's it. And then once I'm ready, I simply hit go live and it will push it out to all of those platforms at the same time. The beauty of using StreamYard is that even though you're, it's pushing video out to, you know, Facebook, YouTube, oops, sorry, hit the microphone, Periscope. All of the comments will appear in the one space here from all the platforms. So that makes it really useful because you can see all the comments in one place and then you can bring them all in. Um, you don't have to have, I guess, multiple devices open. You, you'll be able to see all of the comments in one place. So that makes it really easy and that's it. So that's how easy it is to live stream using StreamYard. They're the one, the platform that I recommend people start off with if they're just new to live streaming and you want to have a lot of features, but you don't want it to be overwhelming, um, the platform StreamYard. So check out the link in the um, description, which has well, I'm double here as well, which has my um, link to StreamYard. So that's the first one. The second one that I use is a, the second method that I use is a little bit more, um, what's the word? It's, it's, there's a couple more steps. So the second step, the second method that I use for multi-streaming is I use a combination of Ecamm Live <clears throat> And I also use Restream. So what happens is I use Ecamm Live to set up the set up and broadcast the actual video or the live stream. And then I use Restream as that, let's call it connector piece that then pushes it out to Facebook, that then pushes it out to YouTube and to Periscope. So um, Restream is a subscription service as well, but they um, have been really reliable and I've been using them for a good part of... Um, when did I start using them? I started using them last year during the, um, what was it? The Black Friday sales. I, gra I grabbed the Black Friday sales and I've loved them ever since. So they're just really reliable and I haven't had any problems with them. They're very similar now to StreamYard where you can actually use them as well just to their web-based interface to live stream. But I use it primarily um, with Ecamm Live. So let's have a look at my setup with Ecamm live and restream. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit um, picture and picturey and confusing, but we're going to be, we're, we're going to walk, walk through it. So I'm going to remove myself on the picture and picture. So as you can see here, this is inside um, restream. 
So love Restream. Um, it's broadcasting now, so that's what I meant by a bit confusing. Um, here where you see add channels is where I would go to add the destinations. And as you can see at the moment, I'm live streaming to Facebook, I'm live streaming to YouTube, and I'm live streaming to Periscope Live. And then once I select a channel, that then allows me to connect whichever um, social media platform I want to use. And they've got so many, as you can see. So I only use Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope, but you could also live stream to um, you know LinkedIn, all these other ones, some that I haven't even heard of. So that's um, what it looks like behind the scenes. You would literally just select the option and then connect it to the platform, um, and then you will see it in your destinations. That's the first. That's probably the first part that you would do to start live streaming. And then the second part, and I'm a little bit nervous about this one because sometimes I wonder why I do live things because <laughs> it's a little bit like, um, this is, is this going to work? Okay. Then this is my Ecamm live screen. So we're live streaming at the moment. Um, and then what happens is you're able to choose Restream as the destination when you live stream. So I can't do it now. I clearly did not think this one through, but you simply choose Restream as the destination to go live. And when you hit go live, it will Restream, it will then connect to Restream, and then Restream will push it out to the other media, social media platforms. The alternative is if you're using Ecamm Live, um, you can push, push it directly to Facebook, push it directly to YouTube, um, but I go Ecamm Live connect it to Restream, push it to Restream, which Restream then pushes it out to all of the interwebs. So that essentially is my recommended process. Got to stop, stop the live demo, come back to me. So that essentially is my process for multi-streaming. One, I use um, StreamYard as the fastest, most efficient way of getting a multi-stream done in my view, in, in my experience and really reliable. Um, the, the second way that I do it is and I use Restream and I connect that with Ecamm Live, which is a bit more of a convoluted process, but it actually works. <laughs> and it sounds, it sounds more complicated than it is because um, of all the screens and stuff, but I promise you, I really promise you that um, it does work and I've been doing it um, quite consistently now for this year. So that essentially wraps up the live stream. So I told you, I told you it's, it's so much faster and it's so much easier than it used to be. Um, it's just one of those things where I think five years ago, if we were to talk about multi-streaming, um, the option where we had software that is as, um, you know, accessible as what we get with StreamYard and with Restream and all the other providers at the moment didn't exist. It was so expensive. It was only for, um, it was only accessible for the big broadcasting networks. But now, you know, you and I, the small businesses, the coaches, the consultants, even the gamers, you know, we have access to be able to multi-stream for like $20 a month, you know, whatever. And how amazing is that? It allows us to get our message out there. It allows us to create content really, really efficiently. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, Joseph said, you've inspired me to create more and share. So I'm really glad, Joseph. Um, live streaming has really changed the way that I do a lot of things. It's changed the way that I perceive content. I've always loved content. I'm a content person. Um, but it's changed the way that I produce and change the way that I connect as well. So particularly these last few weeks, I've been live streaming a lot because I've got so, such a backlog of content that I didn't get to at the beginning of COVID. And now that I've been live streaming so consistently, like I, I feel that I'm getting sharper, I'm getting my processes down. I'm really excited, even more excited about creating content than I ever was before. And like the ideas are just flowing. I have so many content ideas that like I, there's just, this massive backlog of things that I want to get through. So um, I digress. So hopefully you found this tutorial video useful. Um, that that wraps, up, wraps us up, my friends. So if you found this video useful, 
give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do lots of tutorials, social media and live streaming tutorials and tech reviews as well. I live stream about live streaming and I have a lot of fun. And if you're looking to take your live streaming to the next level, make sure you grab a copy of my, oh, not a copy, make sure you sign up for my Facebook Live Masterclass. So it's a free masterclass where I walk you through the system I use to convert your Facebook Live viewers into buyers. So it's free. The link to that is in the description. I'll try to get it on the screen um, after this broadcast. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on the next broadcast. Bye for now.